The role of the United States in global health is critical. The United States government is not only the lead funder in global health, but it provides technical assistance and leadership. Senator Wicker feels we have a moral obligation on these issues. His continued advocacy has really brought the attention that it deserves. We want this research to continue. We want companies to invest in drugs. Senator Wicker historically has been very focused on public health issues, particularly malaria and other neglected tropical diseases. He founded and co-chairs the Senate Caucus on Malaria and Neglected Tropical Diseases. Malaria is a major global health security risk. The role of the Department of Defense in the fight against malaria is significant. When the malaria funding at the Department of Defense was at risk, Senator Wicker leveraged his position on the Senate Armed Services Committee to keep this strategic infrastructure going. He has continued to push the malaria agenda and the neglected tropical disease agenda for the Department of Defense. We're going to find support on both sides of the dais. Senator Wicker believes this is a bipartisan issue. Everything that he does in the global health space is in a bipartisan manner. He was the prime Republican co-sponsor of the End Neglected Tropical Diseases Act. This is essential for sustaining this critical research. This is an example of government at its best. He has played a major role in supporting supplemental requests for Zika, Ebola, and now with COVID to deal with these diseases internationally and domestically. Senator Wicker has led to increased investments in global health research, and millions of lives have already been saved. Senator Wicker deserves this award because he has been a tireless champion. He's a quiet leader, but he's willing to do the hard work. He has made a major impact in global health. And Senator Wicker has done this, not loud, not brash, but effective throughout his entire tenure.